how's it going guys? We found ourselves a hive, so we are going to try this out. Uh, we are the only one here, but it's only a level 2 dungeon, so I think we're probably okay to do this by ourselves. I haven't done one before, uh, so this will be interesting. I'm going to assume it's kind of like a snake pit, uh, because that's kind of what it looks like to me. Uh, something like a snake pit. We'll, we'll figure it out, you know. So far, uh, so good. Can we kill these? Oh, we can. Okay, cool. Oh, and we get honey. Bottled honey. What does this do? Healing for 10 seconds. Okay, that's nice. All right. So we want to kill all the little mini hives. Uh, and uh, so they, they stop spawning little hivelings, little bee larvae and such. Uh, more honey. Okay, honey is delicious, by the way. Honey is nature's candy. So I'm I'm all for a little bit of honey. So playing as our knight today, I think we played as our, our rogue last time. No, not rogue, the other one. Uh, but was it rogue? Wait, do we have a rogue? I don't even remember anymore. What are these things? Oh, they're like larvae sacks. All right, more honey for me, delicious. It'd be cool if you could like craft in this game where like, oh, you need honey and you need this and that and you could make make food items and maybe feed them to your pet. I feel like that would be a good way to get feed power. I don't know. That would be cool though, wouldn't it? Like some area of, of crafting. Okay. I feel like a honey badger in here because I'm just like steamrolling through. Like I don't even care. Do whatever you, you think you want to do to me. It's not going to matter. You know, I, I got, I've got steel skin, baby. All right, let's, Let's uh, take a look at our map. Is there a way this way? No, okay, cool. It's a cool looking, it's a cool looking map though. I like it. Um, it does drop from a warrior bee, which is not the same thing as a wasp queen. And it's not the same thing as the, the bees or the wasps or whatever around the wasp queen. Although it does act in the same way as the wasp queen. So you've got the, the, the main warrior bee in the middle that drops this, and then you've got, does this slow us? Oh, it does a little bit. And then you've got like the, the satellite bees around them that they spawn to, to defend them. So it looks a little bit like the Lost Queen, only it looks more like a bee. So if you see one and you wanna check this out, uh, kill some of those. I actually got a hive on my first one, which is great because it actually took me a little while to find the bee. So. I'm glad, okay, this is a cool looking, cool looking, is this a king bee here? I don't even know. I'm glad it didn't take me that long. Let's clear this area a little bit here. Okay, he's got like, where he shoots out little stingers at you, slow and dazed. Okay, some area of effect stuff. I missed, but he also doesn't seem to have a lot of health because he's already almost dead. That should pretty much do it here. And he spawns more of those. All right, and we, all we got was honey. But, you know, that is the, the hive. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Are there any treasure rooms in the hive? Oh, what's going on with our map there? Look at that. Someone had left, like, a little streak mark there. Um, but, yeah, so that is that is the hive. We got lots of honey. We got lots of honey. I don't know if that's useful or not, but, uh, but we'll, we'll keep it for now. Almost killed that cube. That was almost bad. And yeah, until we find more stuff to, to drop instead, uh, we will, we will keep this. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and see what we need left to max. We need four, no, three attack, 25 defense, 10 speed. So we're looking for attack, defense, and speed. All right, cool. So whatever we can, whatever we can do to fulfill those, uh, we will, Attempt to do. Speaking of which, hey look, a snake pit. That's one more speed in the bag. Uh, looks like there's some people in here. Let's uh, just go ahead and teleport over to here. Just rush this here. Uh, this does not appear to be the right direction, though. Let's try over here. Guess not. I think this guy over here is on the right track, though. I like I like being a knight in here because I just feel powerful. Like, there's nothing that they can do to me, you know? Unless you stand still, but 
Come on, if you stand still, you're you're kind of an idiot, to be honest, you know. This is not a game for standing still. That's all I have to say, but either way, I hope you guys have been having a great day. Let's drop some of this honey here so for some other people. All right, there we dropped some delicious honey. Uh oh, actually we dropped a I want that back. All right, cool. Let's head back to the godlands. One uh, one speed down. Plenty, plenty more to go. I think we need nine more. I think we needed ten. So, but yeah, what's uh, what's going on? I know sounds like some people are having like midterms and stuff, you know. Uh, which it seems like it's a little bit too early for that. But uh, I don't know. I'm I'm no longer in school. Let's drink one of these. Okay, so it just makes you heal faster. I gotcha. I guess that makes sense. Honestly, uh, honey itself is is kind of that way. We use honey a lot like when we're sick and we're coughing and stuff because it coats your throat and makes it so you don't cough as much. So usually we'll like put it in tea and stuff and it's it's really good for you, you know, helps you out. It's uh, nature's remedy, kind of like marijuana, although I didn't say that. Although I, I will say it is legal where I live because I live in Colorado. I've never actually had any marijuana related, uh, where is this at? Is it over here? Oh, it is over here. Okay. We found it. We found it with our face. Oh, okay. A little bit of lag there. I've never had any marijuana related, you know, snacks or, or food or, or, uh, done any smoking or anything of the sort. So it's not it's not really me. It's not really my thing. You know, do we want it? No, I don't really want to do an ice cave. Let's go back here to the godlands. Alright, cool. I think this guy gives us attack. So yeah, I don't know. It's it's one of those things like a lot of people ask when they hear that you're from from Colorado, like, so uh so uh how's it how's it now that pot's legal? And you're like, it's the same as it was before it was legalized, but now more people do it, I guess. Um, it has tremendously helped fund our educational programs, which is great as well. So, all right, let's, let's go. I think, did they kill it already? I think they killed it already. I guess it would be over here, wouldn't it? Is there a... Does not appear to be a dungeon. You, sir, are almost dead. You should probably fix that. There is a Puppet Master, though. Uh, that gives attack. Maybe, maybe some people will go in here with us. That would be great. Because that will be one less attack towards our, our goal of, of 6 out of 8. Realistically, my goal is 6 out of 8. Because, to be honest, let's, let's be honest here, you know, I'm probably not going to get 8 out of 8 here anytime soon. But at six out of eight, you know, we've done it before. Something that we can do for sure. So now puppet masters are one of those things I just like kind of don't oh, don't really know how to approach. So we're just gonna be a little bit careful here. They actually seem to do a fair amount of damage, so you gotta be a little bit careful. Now watch out the rogues will cloak and come up behind you. Pet stasis is kind of a cool thing. It's annoying. I understand that. But it, it is kind of a cool... Oh, hello. You're like right there. I keep, uh, I keep thinking that the puppets are actual players and they're not. Yeah, see, you can, you can be hit for quite a bit of health, uh, pretty quickly if you're not careful. And if you, you think that puppets are people. You know, maybe they are. Maybe it's Pinocchio, you know? Maybe these puppets just want to be real boys. That's all I got to say, you know? You never know. It could be. There's someone rushing over here. Oh, cool. There's a treasure room or something. Or is this the boss? I'm actually not sure. I don't remember the difference. I've only been in, like, two of these. So, but it's definitely one I should learn. Definitely one I should learn. Because this is uh, one of the reliable ways to get... To get attack. If I could not be slowed forever, that would be great. Oh, thank you. All right. Let's do some damage here. I 
I just don't want to get popped, you know? He was apparently immune to that. Is this actual boss? It looks like it could be. <gasps> what? What happened there? What happened? Oh my god, are you serious? Are you serious right now? It DC'd us right when we got to the chest. Well, you know what? There's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing we can do about it. And, you know, that's, that's always kind of my... My thought process behind like dying and stuff in this game is like, well, there's really not much you can do about it. Just move on, I guess, you know. It's it's unfortunate. It's definitely not something you want to happen. But once you're dead, you know, there's, there's not much you can do about it. And the part that kind of sucks is if it's like a stupid mistake thing that happens to you, you know. Like if it's, if it's something like you teleported to someone got insta-popped, at least you're like, okay, that's only partially my fault, you know. It will depending on who you teleport to. Or if somebody's like ent sitting or something, and you're like, all right, you know what? That's only partially my fault for trusting this this person. The rest is on this this a-hole here, right? Ooh, what is that? What is this? Oh, it's the sewers. We could do a sewers. This is not really a This is not really a sewers class. Sewers, sewer, sewers. I'm not, I'm not the best at spelling today, apparently. But uh, yeah, let's try this out. I don't remember. This is, this is one that's good for defense and and what else? It was something else too, wasn't it? All right, let's do this. I'll be honest. I liked it the first time I did it, but since I've I've done a few of them. I'm not liking them as much. And the reason why is because of this this liquid sludge crap here in the middle that makes it so that you can't get healed or anything is is annoying. Oh, all right. And the fact that you can't really dodge, I understand that's that's the, the reason why it's there, right? Because it, it forces you to try and stick to the outskirts here. You just got to be careful, you know, play it slow. I think it's actually diff more difficult than an abyss. Abyss is at least you can kind of, you know, stick around the corner. And when they come around the corner, do some damage. This one, not, not as easy. Not as easy, so. There we go, perfect. All right, I think it looks like we're getting pretty close to the boss over here. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to lure them this way, hopefully. I guess you can lure them and then kind of stay around a corner like this. This may or may not be the way that we actually have to go, though. See, confused is just kind of an a-hole thing to do here, because you're going to run right into the sludge. You know that that's why they did it, too, right? Like, hey, you know what? All these people trying to avoid this, this, this poop water... Let's, uh, let's confuse them so that they run right into it. Wouldn't that be fun? Gee, Willikers, that would be a great grand old time, wouldn't it? That's right. Uh, come on. There we go. I don't know what these jokers are doing over here. I don't, I don't even know if there's, like, treasure rooms or anything in, in these new dungeons. I could see the, the Encore, the Puppet Master's Encore or whatever, having one. I can see that one having one. I don't know about these two, though. The hive and this one. This one, maybe. It'd be funny if it was a poop monster. You know? Like in, uh, what's that one? That one video game with, uh, the talking poop. Uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day. That's the one. They need the, the poop monster from Conker's Bad Fur Day. That's what they need. That would be a great boss. Great boss for this dungeon. All right, let's head over with these guys. I hate my life. Oh, did somebody die? That's unfortunate. Uh, oh, nope, they're just here. Let's keep on rolling, baby. We're going to go this way. Are those? Those are like the same bats as from the manor, isn't it? 
I have a feeling these guys are in the right direction. Let's teleport over to them. Okay, there we go. Uh, this way, I'm assuming. It looks like, yeah, this looks like the right way. I can't see any other way of getting to the boss, so this must be it. Unfortunately, I don't know how much we're going to be able to do. This is definitely a ranged class dungeon. Uh, so we're, we're going to see what we can do with the knight, but with all these other, like, uh, wizards and stuff, I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to do much. Definitely easier with some range involved. Okay. Oh yeah, we have honey, I forgot. Yeah, we can drink that and... Does that... Okay, yeah, that, that stops it too. When you're in the... Oh, hello rat. I didn't, I never saw the rats in this one. Maybe I just didn't pay attention enough. Okay. We're gonna come back here and heal a little bit. Because this is the only place that we can. Mm, little bit of lag, unfortunately. Okay, yep, lots of lag. Armor broken. It's not a good thing. Taking a moderate amount of damage here. All right, we're risking, we're risking it, guys. Okay, we're, we're out of here. We're out of here. All right, so we're not doing that with our knight again. At least not for a while. Uh, 120 health. Okay, so yeah, that, that was not a good idea. So definitely better. I think we'll come back with a wizard or something because a wizard seems like a great class for that because you can just spell bomb the crap out of him and, and, you know, go on your merry way. I guess this is the only one open. We'll go this way, I suppose. All right. Been playing some Osiris New Dawn lately. Should have a video of that up soon as well. I really like that. Ooh, a crystal. I really like that game. You know? It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I don't think it's as good as Ark, but it's also in early access, and they're adding stuff and, you know, stuff like that. So hopefully it will be better soon. Uh, but it's still fun. It's still fun. We, uh, we built our first habitat in it. We're starting to build chemistry tables and the like so that we can actually start making cool stuff. So I think the first thing I want to make is a car. Or like a dune buggy or whatever. So stand on it for more loot. Nah, you know what? I think I'm good, man. But uh, if you want to, go ahead. Yeah, like a, a car or doom buggy, because the, the worst part about that game so far is having to travel around and run around to mine stuff. So if you could drive around, and even better, if you had some sort of storage on that car, which I don't know if they do or not, then uh, that would be great. Because then we could just go around and mine all the stuff. Uh, I think you can actually make a spaceship as well. Which would be cool. Okay. I think we're getting close. I really hope I don't die here. Okay, here we go. Oh, somebody died. Trying to concentrate a little bit here. Get some damage in if I can. Doesn't seem to do too much damage, but I would avoid... Okay, this is... Worse, I suppose. Hmm... At first, I thought someone was sitting on him, but it was the, the tombstone. Come on. 
All right, well, we didn't get anything, but there is a dead water dock. It's not gonna do that. Not gonna do that, so. A few more, a few more things. Hopefully we can get another potion before we go here. So, we're getting close, though. We're getting close. Maybe we'll use... Oh, yes, please. I will definitely do that. We're gonna do one more snake pit, and I'm actually gonna call it a little bit early, because I have some stuff to do. We are actually, uh... We're sewing on patches and stuff on my son's new Cub Scout uniform. And I say new, but in reality, it was mine when I was a kid. So a little bit of a, a cool hand-me-down there. So, and you know what? We could have bought a new one, but it was kind of like, you know what? This is kind of a cool thing, you know? My son can have it, and then maybe if he grows up and has a son who's in Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts, then they can use it, you know? And it becomes kind of a thing. Of course, you know, it has to last that long. That was a bad stun. There we go. Oh, look at that perfect stun. Did you see that? That was amazing. All right. I'm actually really not afraid of this anymore. I think once she stops armoring. Yep, there it is. One more speed potion, and I think, you know what, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna leave it here. That's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. We'll be doing some more of this, some more Nilly's Realm coming up as well, and I will see you in the next episode.